they had braced themselves for a night of trouble. An asylum centre in Liverpool, surrounded, not by those who wished it harm, but by those determined to protect it. This and other locations had been earmarked by far-right demonstrators as one of scores of locations in towns and cities across Britain to be the backdrop of anti-immigration protests. There's a lot of people in the community here who, you know, feel a lot of anger, a lot of fear. And I think there's the sense of the community where they've had enough. Um, there's also a sense of distrust with the police. Um, a lot of people don't trust the police to defend their neighbourhood and that's why a lot of them have come out. Black and white, unite and fight! It was a similar story elsewhere. In Birmingham, anti-racism campaigners marched through the streets. We've got people from all walks of life. This is what reality looks like. We don't want their reality. We want this reality because this is about peace, love, unity and harmony. In Bristol, hundreds gathered to repel the planned protests by far-right-led groups. This is how it should be. Everyone should be united together, all as one. Yeah. How do you feel about the scenes that we've seen over, over the last week or so across the country? I think it's disgraceful, yeah. Absolutely disgraceful, yeah, and it needs to stop. In Brighton, the feared disruption didn't materialise. The far right did turn out in much smaller numbers than expected at a border force agency in Portsmouth, blocking a road before being moved away by riot police. And thousands of anti-racist demonstrators gathered at an immigration centre in Walthamstow. No clashes here. The story of the night, so far at least, has been about communities rallying. It's hard to see how anybody could even get remotely close to this building to do any kind of damage. This community has turned out in their hundreds to mount the most extraordinary defence of this former church. It could have been the threat of stiff prison sentences handed out to previous rioters. It could have been the increased police presence. If the far right were here, they didn't show themselves. But that is not to say that this is over. Nick Martin, Sky News, Liverpool.